Quick update with the exhaust off. We're clearing up some of the rust spots. I don't know if you remember I had loads of going on around here. So you can see I've now sanded some of that. There you go. So treated all that. Still, that's just a bit of light rust around the bottom there. Um, and up there as well. Just sanded it with some sandpaper and some brake cleaner and I'm waiting for that to dry then I'll clean up some hammerite paint. With regards to this bottom bit, now I've taken a decision on this. It's a lot of work to remove the bumper support bracket on the other side because the water gets between the support bracket, as you can see it looping around the bottom here, and the main body of the shell. And it keeps the wood in there, and <laughs> keeps the wood in there, keeps the water in there, and it starts rusting out. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to treat the surface rust here as best I can, get some wax oil in there, and going from there. Um, then eventually, what I'm thinking of doing is, is redesigning, taking the bumper mount off once I've got some bumpers, because I've yet to put the bumpers back on because I don't like the ones that came with this one. I think it's a lot like blade bumpers. I prefer the, like the California style ones. So I'm trying to get a decent pair of them at the minute. And once I get them, take the wings off, really evaluate everything. Once they're starting to go, I'll take the spot welds out and redo it all. Um, and also I'm looking perhaps redoing my brackets. I'm gonna paint it up again. And what I wanna do is perhaps cap them or blend them into this bit a bit easier. Because um, the way the rear valance comes in, it comes in and just slots in that way, it doesn't have to come down. Um, still got to do that side later, but just clearing up this side for now. I have now sanded all that and treated it. So some light down here, shall we? Here we go. That there is just mud. It didn't, wasn't growing up that far. So you can see back there, I've treated it all now. Up there. And now the same over here. What I need to do next is the rest of the stuff. I'm going to be taking off the wings eventually and replacing the wing bolts. I have replaced some wing bolts over here. What I've decided to do on eBay, I found some titanium bolts. Another bad thing. The reason why I've gone with titanium is so they stop rusting. Because the stainless ones I've got, they've only been there a few years and they've already started rusting. So I'm guessing the stainless steel coating has come off them. Um, so I've gone with titanium for now. Anyway, that one has to come out when the rear apron goes back in. Um, but yeah, so I've got those in place. Um, uh, so nothing else has changed down here. Let's turn this off. As you may know, I decided to take off the exhaust after saying I didn't want to. Um, so at this point I'm going to be cleaning up, as you saw the grinder, I want to get a metal wheel, metal wheel, um, wire wheel for that. Um, I do have one that's worn out, um, so I'm just using a disc on it, just to get all, rid of all this crap. Um, and then clean it up, um, trying to be careful these, I should have done this first before this, but I didn't think it was that bad and, you know, plans change. And the exhaust itself needs a bit of work. Um, Needs a bit of straightening up here and there, but on the whole it's absolutely fine. So I'm going to grind it all down as best I can, use a wire brush and go from there, get all the loose bits up. Um, don't think I'll put any rust prevention on here, because what I'm concerned about, if I put any rust prevention paint on here, um, is that protected by the heat? Because I don't want to put that on, then put my um, heat treated paint on. and when it gets hot, the heat treated paint doesn't, it just flakes straight off because there's rust prevention paint underneath it. So I'm going to tackle it straight away with the rust stuff and hopefully that will be good enough. I mean, I'm getting down to the bare metal anyway in places so I think it'll be fine. Um, I'm going to try and keep this plaque as best I can, it's a bit grubby. I'm good from there. Um, all the other bits are over there on the side. Um, I've painted that up a bit, I need to polish up the back a bit, but I, I might not, might do. If I polish it up, the rest of the beetle need polishing. Um, so I need to order new gaskets, and new wing bolts, because the wing bolts, even though they're stainless steel, I have started to rust from the salts. Ugh. So I need to clean up all that rust as well. So one job at a time.
we have got a new gasket set for our exhaust. I'm so glad the postal system in the UK is still working uh, during this pandemic. So if we can get this out one-handed, it's not great. I can see why other YouTubers struggle now whilst recording. So that comes with, this is from, it was from eBay, but I believe it's from Linebug. Uh, it doesn't say, but it's from Linebug. Um, what I do like about them is this is the original gasket seal I can see just here. See, it's, it's, it's just very thin, pretty much two pieces of metal. Has been crushed, barely anything there. If we look at the new ones, as you can see, look at the thickness of that there. So this is a basic kit, it's not like a you know, top quality kit or anything, I, I didn't see anything. You can see there, it's, it's definitely needs replacing, that's going to hopefully solve a lot of our um, exhaust leaks, got new bolts, new studs, bolts the van. So we, until we've got that in, until we start putting the exhaust back and we don't need that, so that's down to one side. Me and guys over here, what we're doing over here, so we've got the exhaust out, I've started to ground it down, covered up our nice shiny bits. Yes, I know. I should have done this bit first before even doing this. I wasn't even planning on doing this, and I thought, why not? Let's do this. So I left these in place. They're all fine. 